Are you an American moving over to London and looking for luxury, world famous museums, great community vibe, and pure properties offering modern living? Then check out this video because today we're sharing all the reasons why so many Americans and foreigners love living in Kensington. As a property nerd, I have to start with the grand Victorian properties that are ever present throughout this community. Also, I should mention the gorgeous Georgian townhouses overlooking the gardens at Kensington Square. But Kensington also has a selection of red brick mansion blocks, luxury modern developments, and quaint cottages. Due to the prime central London location and luxury lifestyle this area exudes, it tends to attract wealthy expats moving to London for their second homes as well as celebrities. With so much demand, the area is seeing a flurry of modern high-end apartments and developments. The Odeon Cinema on Kensington High Street now is under redevelopment for smaller cinema along with new flats and townhouses. While at Lancer Square, there's also development of 36 bespoke luxury apartments and penthouses. It's part of the Kensington Palace Conservation Area. So beyond walking the streets and looking at gorgeous homes, what else is there to actually see and do in Kensington? As it's got a fantastic prime central London location, it has so many great options, whether in Kensington or just nearby. Green spaces are plentiful here. You're next to Kensington Palace Gardens, 265 acres of parkland and flowers. It's also home to the Serpentine Galleries and the Princess Diana Memorial Playground. Kensington Gardens actually sits next to and segues right into the glorious Hyde Park, which is the largest of the Royal Parks. You could go here any day of the year and find a new route or event to enjoy. There's also Holland Park, which is next to the Design Museum, which has sports centers, a playground, Japanese Kyoto Garden, and even an adventure park with zip line for the adventure seekers among you. For even more nature and green spaces to enjoy throughout London, check out my video on the Royal Parks of London. Thanks to its prime central London location and affluent residents, Kensington is home to some of the best food, restaurants, and eateries in London. From the modern British fine dining at Launceston Place's 1839 townhouse to the sumptuous Japanese dishes at Yashin Ocean House, you can walk down the streets of Kensington and find a wide range of cuisine to suit your appetite. If you want to grab a taste of the Mediterranean, then you must check out Siru. They offer modern twists of Mediterranean cuisine with a hand-picked wine list and seasonal menu. If you're more laid back and want to go for a pint, the Builders Arms is a local haunt for workers, students, and residents alike. But don't be fooled by it being a pub, the food here is divine. The Sunday menu offers a sharing roast of a 21-day aged sirloin beef, roast chicken, slow-cooked pork belly, pigs in a blanket for stuffing. For shopping, Kensington is a great location for access to luxury shopping such as world famous Harrods, Harvey Nichols, or just moments away in nearby Knightsbridge. While you're there, you'll be on Old Brompton Road and nearby Sloan Street for other incredible luxury brands world renowned. Kensington High Street itself is a fantastic high street with plenty of options for great retail along with cafes, eateries, and fine dining. There's a Massimo Dutti, there's is a Zara Home, there's so much going on. For something special, head to the Sign of the Times, a boutique shop with vintage and secondhand designer clothes and accessories that fill the store. There's also Chelsea nearby with the boutique filled Kings Road to spend a day of window shopping or getting anything you need. To find more fantastic shopping experiences in London, make sure to see my video showcasing the top 10 shopping streets of the city. So, what will you need your budget to be if you actually want to live here? Properties in Kensington had an overall average price of $2.2 million over the last year. The majority of these were flats selling for an average price of $1.494 million. Terrace properties sold for an average of $4.4 million, with semi-detached properties fetching an average of $11.2 million. Overall, sold prices in Kensington over the last year were 2% down on the previous year, while they remained similar to the 2018 peak of $2.2 million. Now that you know why it's such a great area and we've given you a sense of the property market in Kensington, let's highlight some fantastic homes across different price points. We have this fabulous five bedroom, five bath townhouse in Hereford Square for 10 million pounds. 
If you have an eight figure budget and you're looking for a family home, then this classic stucco fronted five bedroom, five bath house across six floors is a rare find. The substantial wider than average grade two listed Victorian house on Hereford Square overlooks an award winning private garden square. It has a beautifully updated interior while maintaining period features. The lower ground floor has its own entrance, perfect for a nanny or au pair. The property is on the market for a guide price of 10 million pounds. With 5,627 square feet, this comes in at 1,777 pounds per square foot. For those looking for a quaint, cottage style property, loose homes in London are few and far between, which makes them even more desirable. This five bedroom, four bath muse property in Petersham Place has a traditional styling throughout. The home is across four floors with huge ceiling heights, period features, and even two dressing rooms, plus a separate utility room, which is a rare addition in UK homes. At 3.75 million pounds and 2,275 square feet, it comes in at 1,600 pounds per square foot. But if you're looking for a home next to the world famous museums and the Royal Albert Hall, you can't get much closer than to be on Exhibition Road. Closer to the South Kensington border, this three bedroom, three bath apartment in Princess Gate Court has the Science, Natural History and v &A museums at its doorstep. The property is in a gated development with 24 hour porter, off street parking and impeccable modern interiors. At 5.5 million pounds and 2,024 square feet, it comes in at 2,717 pounds per square foot. As you can see, Kensington really does offer luxury living with properties and amenities to suit those who can afford it. If you're looking for a home that provides you with an amazing cultural experiences, tons of green space, and excellent transport options in the center of London, it is the neighborhood that continues to deliver. However, whether it's Kensington or not, to find out more about the London neighborhoods that suit you and your property needs, please get in touch. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to check out my other videos on my YouTube channel where I share great tips and information about the London property market and living in this fabulous city. So that's Ugo Orense with Onyx Property Team and Keller Williams. Bye for now.